What's up guys, it's your boy Dexter here and The Witchwood just came out yesterday and there are so many cool deck archetypes out there and I wanted to cover a couple really cool ones. Um, I mean, I'm not going to be able to cover all of them because there's so many different archetypes out there. There's like three archetypes for each class, possibly, and I just I can't cover it all. So I'm just going to be covering some that hit high legend, or maybe some that I just thought were really, really cool. Be very careful if you're thinking about crafting these and you're tight on dust because the meta is not, it's not stable. It's changing a lot and you could craft a deck that's good today and it just sucks in a couple days. Um, I, I don't know. I, I feel like Baku seems like it might be a solid craft right now. She seems to be enabling multiple archetypes. So that's relatively safe as far as Lich King was safe when, uh, you know, when that expansion came. But... Once again, proceed with caution when you're crafting things. So Gallon hit rank one legend with this Cauldron Baku Paladin, which is a fantastic list. Uh, basically, you, you mull for a one drop. Maybe you keep one of your good three drops. You play the one drop. On turn two, you're doing your hero power for two, one, one guys. Uh, turn three, maybe you play a Marsh Drake, and then you run one of the guys into the, the poisonous Drake that he spawns. Then you have an insane board. It's really hard for your opponent to constantly be dealing with your hero powers that you're probably going to be pushing every turn. Plus, you got Witch's Cauldron, which everyone thought would be awful. But actually, there's a lot of good shaman spells out there. And if you're constantly able to use your hero power and run your dudes in, kill them off, get value out of your Witch's Cauldron, it can get out of hand really easily. Plus, level up works so well when you're constantly churning out those dudes. Um, you get cheap corridor creepers from killing your dudes off. And Stormwind Champion is insane value here as well because it's hard for you to lose board here. It's just there's not enough there's not enough board clears for your opponent. You know, it just it's it's insane. It's a good list. Definitely try it out. It's not too expensive. It's actually relatively free to play friendly. You kind of just need Baku. And uh, once again, it's looking like Baku might be a safe craft. Uh, a little early to call, but it's seeming like this is definitely a good budget-friendly list. Disguise Toast had a 90% win rate with this Shutterwalk Shaman list, which is pretty insane. He started rank 5, he hit Legend. This is an insane combo list we have a lot of card draw in there you know you got you got thalnos you got farsight you got your manatide totems uh, you got sandbinder in there which is pretty cool uh, but basically it's it's a totally built around the shutter walk which re-triggers all the battle cries a really cool new card um you play your murmuring elemental your fire plume harbinger you play your, your Life Drinker, your Chain Gang, your Grumble, your Drake, and you play your Shutterwalk, and it replays all those battle cries, which makes for insane value and really long animations. A lot of people already saying they think this list is going to get nerfed. Not necessarily this list, but something around Shutterwalk. Uh, is Shutterwalk going to get nerfed? Who knows? Life Drinker going to get nerfed? Who knows? But um, it's a cool list for now. If you want to check it out, check it out. And uh, yeah, I mean, Toast did fantastic with it. So I'm sure you could too. So Dog hit rank two legend with this Tempo Tess Rogue. And this list is so good, guys. Um, we have a little Burgle package here. We got the Hallucinations. We got the Blink Foxes, uh, Face Collector. And then we got Tess so we can replay all those battle cries. It's just fantastic. Face Collector gets a ton of value and it can really help you win against those control matchups. Um, maybe you wait until turn nine, you're playing against, I don't know, like a Q block or something. Uh, you play Face Collector, Face Collector, Face Collector, you get all that value. Maybe even Shadow Step your Face Collector back so you can play it again another turn and get even more value. Plus, if you get, you know, like a, like a minion from another class, uh, you get to play it again with Tess. It's kind of insane. It's fun. It's a good time. Um, saps are great against Q blocks again. Um, and, and it's just, uh, Hench Clan Thug is such a good three drop. Like it's, it's always, it's a three mana four, four at the very least. Cause usually you're going to dagger up on two. So, I mean, it's, it's nutty and it gets out of hand really fast. Um, I, it's, it's such a good list. Really just try it out. It is a little more expensive at 7,900 dust. Um, but if, if you got face collector and test this, this might be, the go-to for you. I know a lot of people are running Keleseth instead of the two drops, um, and that definitely has its place, but if you're seeing a lot of big taunts and stuff that you need to get around, maybe 
maybe sap is a little better than kelly so kind of try try them both out both variants but dog hit rank two with this variant so Findan went from 1500 legend to 400 legend with this tempo warrior and i'm really excited about the rush mechanic i think this is pretty cool because it definitely you know uses the rush mechanic we got town crier in there we got um red band wasp we got woodcutter's axe uh, rabbit war again we got militia commander and darius which is uh, they're, they're just so good the synergy between them is fantastic we also have battle rage because your dudes are usually gonna get hit a little bit because they're rushed and they smack other things and then battle rage is just insane draw value uh fester root hulk Finn Dan saying that it's actually you know it's won him so many games and it's a great card so maybe that's a little better than people had expected uh we'll, we'll have to see in the long run but if you got Darius here, maybe you want to try this list out. Maybe if you want to do a budget version, maybe you can't afford Lich King and Hellscream. It still might be a solid list without it. Just definitely, you know, tinker around with this Rush Package shell and Battle Rage for card draw. It just seems like a overall solid list. Definitely one to check out if you've been missing some, some warrior action. So a lot of people were asking me about an Elemental Mage list, and here we have Apex Void's Top 50 Legend Elemental mage list um he he says he's unsure about a few cards but overall he really likes the elemental count and we do have a lot of elementals here we got fireflies we got uh, fire plume phoenix we got the steam surgers we got uh, water elemental bonfire elemental and blaze collar blaze collar allowing for that additional burn to face as well as i guess most of the other elementals but um it does seem to have some nice synergies here we have one book of specters uh for that for that additional card draw um usually you know you're gonna get minions with it there are a bunch of spells in here so maybe you wait until you play some more spells um but book of specters drawing one card off of uh two mana is not terrible if you get two that's great if you get three that's just absurdly absurdly good so definitely check this one out if you really want some elemental mage and it's only 3360 dust which is fairly budget as well i'm really happy that a lot of these lists that are way up there are um fairly fairly easy uh on on the dust bank if you know what i mean so the main warlock list still seems to be cube lock and that's probably just gonna be the way it is haven't seen zoo lock uh lists doing too well unfortunately but meaty hit rank one legend with this cube lock um basically he replaced all the cards that rotated out with i guess voodoo doll a couple Tar Creepers, and maybe the Swamp Ooze. I don't know why he's not running Lord Godfrey, but, I mean, he's rank 1 legend. I'm not, so there must be some point to it. Um, Tar Creeper, he said he put in to kind of deal with all the aggression that's out there right now, be it uh, Baku Hunters or the Pallies. Uh, it's just a really good way to kind of put up a wall to deal with that. Voodoo Doll is insanely easy to trigger with your Mortal Coils, your Defiles. It's just Voodoo, <laughs> Voodoo Doll is such a cool card and um yeah other than that it's kind of just your your basic cube lock and uh, it's it's going to be a good list it's probably going to stick around if you have it from last time why not you know what i'm saying why not so that's going to wrap it up boys just six lists i know there's a lot more cool lists out there i just can't cover everything i don't i don't have that kind of time unfortunately um but yeah craft with caution the the expansion's fresh things are changing no one knows what's going to be good are these six lists going to be top lists in a week no one has any clue i mean q block's probably going to stay up there but uh everything else might might change a lot um that's it if you guys want to hit that like button i'd appreciate it i do stream on twitch so be sure to you know check that link out below i'd appreciate it if you want to you know stop by and hang out and uh stay hydrated guys we'll catch you in the next video peace